Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to create a shader for Ice Lake using Visual Shader. In the end, we will have a Ice Lake similar to this. For the tutorial, I will be using Godot 4.2, but you could also use 4.1. It will work just fine. And I'm also using an add-on called ShaderLib. And make sure you get the latest version 1.2.0. And now, let's get shading right after the intro. Okay, so for the effect, we will use a technique called parallax mapping. And before we can understand what is parallax mapping, we need to learn about the parallax effect. So what is parallax effect? Standard definition is on the screen, which seems a bit convoluted, so I will give you an example. Let's say you are sitting in a car and you look out the window. You will get the feeling that the objects that are further away are moving slower than the closer ones. That feeling or illusion is called parallax. And a technique to recreate that feeling in computer graphics is called parallax mapping. Obviously, we will not write our custom algorithm for that, but we should know about parallax mapping. Okay, now I have a plane and I will create a visual shader and a material for our shader as well. Now we will assign our material to the plane. And for our shader, I will be using these three textures for our ice lake for albedo, normal map and height map respectively. And I will link them down in the description. In our shader, first we want to assign our albedo from the inspector. So let's create a texture 2D parameter node. I will call it main texture. In the type drop down, select color because we want to use our texture as color for our geometry. Now we need to sample the texture. For that, let's create a texture 2D node. Select sampler port from the first drop down and assign our main texture's output in Sampler 2D. Then take our Texture 2D node's color and feed it into the albedo. Let me assign our albedo in the main texture. Okay, now to make ice look wet, we will set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0. Pretty cool. But our ice lake kind of look like a flat paper. To fix this, let's use a normal map and we want to assign it from the inspector. So I will duplicate the texture 2D parameter node. Call it normal map. Then in the type drop down, select normal map to tell Godot that the texture is a normal map. We will sample it using texture 2D node. Then take its output and feed it into the normal map. Let me assign our normal map in the normal map slot. You can also adjust this normal map depth to control little bumps. And now our lake no longer looks like flat paper. Now to create an illusion of depth, we will use parallax mapping node. This node will do the heavy lifting for us. And to be honest, this node proved to be a challenge to create, but more of that in the devlog video. Now this node is asking for a height map and amplitude. We will provide them both from the inspector. So first let's create another texture 2D parameter node. I will call it height map. Then in the type drop down select data because height map is neither color nor normal map. Then take its output and feed it into the height map. Then create a float parameter node. I will call it depth and feed it into the amplitude. Then take our parallax mapping nodes output to both our main texture and normal maps UV slots. That's it for our shader. It will look like this at the end. Now let's assign our height map and adjust the depth in the inspector. 
and we have this nice illusion of depth in our ice lake. Pretty cool! And that's pretty much the video. If you find the video helpful, consider like, share and subscribe. Wishlist Cosmic Roads on Steam. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Hope you are enjoying the holiday season. That's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one.